Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are working on a Mercedes. This is a Mercedes A350, but this procedure should apply for all E class from 2009 all the way to 2016. So we are going to work on the engine uh, uh, fuse box diagram. I'm going to uh, uh, show you guys what uh, each of these fuses is for and what the relays are for. And then uh, I did a video about uh, the fuse box for the trunk one. So if anybody has not seen that one, you can check on the channel for that video. All right, uh, let's begin. So uh, to access our fuse box, uh, we open the hood, it is going to be next to the driver and then just immediately after the strut. Uh, so you're going to unclip these two uh, uh, clips and then once it is done, you remove this kind of hoses. Also there are going to be like some hoses on top. So you take them out and then you just pull it to the front because on the rear they just kind of just uh, hooks only so nothing is going to be holding back over there. So uh, we don't have any fuse box uh, diagram over here. So uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, the various fuses and all the relays and where they are for. And uh, first uh, things first, uh, I think I have to go through the basics and that is uh, explaining these numbers. Like you see, this is uh, 18 right here. So uh, this is going to be uh, our fuse box diagram. So we have numbers, we have uh, letters. So uh, the fuses are identified by numbers. You can see the highlighted ones on red and then you see the one on the orange. So uh, all, those are all uh, the fuses and then you go to the relay. So the relays are right here. They're identified by letters like all the way from J all the way to R. So uh, let's go back to the fuse box. So uh, to begin, today I'm going to sh uh, start with these uh, relays to tell you what uh, each one is for. This is a relay uh, J, this is a second 15 uh, relay. So in short, uh, this uh, is the relay that controls the power supply to various components that needs to be active when the ignition is turned on. And then the next uh, is a relay K and this is a circuit 15 R relay. So a little what this means, uh, this is uh, when the ignition is on, like for the radio and the accessory mode. Uh, so this powers the non-essential accessories like the radio, cigarette lighter, without necessarily needing the engine to be running. Next, uh, we go to a uh, relay P. This is going to be uh, for the secondary uh, injection relay. Next, uh, we go to a uh, relay Q, which is uh, by this yellow relay. So this one is re uh, unassigned. Next, uh, we go to a uh, uh, relay L. So this is for, uh, for the wiper pack position uh, heater relay. What this means is this relay controls the heating element located at the base of the windshield uh, where the wiper blades rest when not in use. Prevent a freezing on the wiper, on your wiper blades. And then we come back to this uh, small relay, which is just down right here. This is relay O. This is going to be for a horn relay. So uh, next uh, we go to this uh, green uh, relay. This is uh, relay M. This is going to be for the starter circuit 50 relay. So this is going to be for our starter. Next uh, we go to a relay N. This is the black one right there on the corner. So uh, this is going to be for the engine circuit 87 relay. So literally what this means is that uh, this is a switch, uh, this is a relay for the switch power to various engine related components and controls unit when the ignition is on and then when the engine is literally running. So literally let me just briefly bring a scenario here. So when you start your car normally and the radio is on, sometimes it's going to go off for a minute and then when the car already started up, and then the radio will come back. All right, let's go to the next one. So uh, this will be our last relay. Uh, so it's going to be a relay uh, R according to the fuse box diagram. This is an assign. So uh, from right over there, uh, this brings us the end of the relay. So uh, let's go now to the fuse. And the fuse, there are two types, uh, the, the, the small ones, and then there's these big ones, which are two, which are 40 amps. So uh, let's begin. So I'm going to start out with this fuse uh, number one, which is uh, 25 amps. This is going to be for the electronic stability program control unit. So it's going to be for the ESP control unit. And then the next fuse is going to be 30 amps. This fuse number two is going to be for the left uh, rear door control uh, unit. And then next uh, fuse number three is going to be 30 amps. Uh, this is going to be for the right uh, rear door uh, control unit. And then next uh, we go to uh, fuse number four, which is going to be 20 amps. It's going to be for the fuel system uh, control uh, unit. Next is going to be uh, this uh, fuse number five, which is 75 amps. It's going to be for the instrument cluster exterior light switch. Then we go to uh, fuse number six, uh, this is going to be 10 amps. Uh, this is for the uh, engine control unit. 
our engine control module. Then we go to our fuse number seven. It's going to be 20 amps. Uh, this is going to be for our starter. Next uh, is going to be fuse uh, number eight. It's 7.5 amps. So this is going to be for the supplementary restraint system control unit. On symbol basic was this is for the airbag uh, control uh, unit. Next, uh, we've got fuse number nine. It's going to be 15 amps. Uh, this is going to be for the glove compartment socket. So literally it's for the socket inside the glove compartment. Next, uh, we've got fuse number 10. Uh, this is uh, 30 amps. Uh, this is going to be for the wiper motor. And also it's going to be for the wiper pack position heater. So this is for two things in one. And then next, uh, we go to a fuse number 11. But it's just way deep inside here. So uh, to access it uh, so that you guys can see it well, let me remove this uh, relay, which is standing on the way. A fuse number 11 is going to be a 7.5 amps. So this is going to be for the audio or command display and uh, so literally this is going to be like for the navigation module inside the car so next is going to be a fuse uh, number 12 is going to be 7.5 amps so this is going to be for the adaptive uh, cruise control control and operating unit also this is going to be for the upper control panel control unit and in other variants of mercedes e-class this is going to be for the automatic transmission transmission mode button and then lastly it's going to be uh, for the aromatic versions it's going to be for the suspension uh, button uh, group and then next one is uh, fuse number 13 is going to be 7.5 amps so this is going to be for the steering column tube and uh, module control unit another function is going to be for the multifunction camera which is around the car and then another one is going to be for the stereo multifunction uh, camera and then right after that is going to be fuse number 14 is going to be 7.5 amps steel and this is going to be for the esp electronic stability program control unit and then next uh, we go to fuse uh, 15 this is going to be 7.5 amps and uh, this is going to be for the srs control unit so uh, next uh, we got the fuse uh, number 16 this is 5 amps so this is going to be having two functions that's the first one this is applies to the hybrid uh, cars it's going to be for the electrical refrigerant compressor and for the rest of the cars uh, the function second function is going to be for the transmission specifically is for the electronic letter lever module control uh, unit then we go to the last fuse on the wall is going to be fuse number 17 30 amps is going to be uh, for the overhead control panel control unit next is going to be for the panoramic uh, sliding roof control uh, module we come to this other side fuse number 18 is 7.5 amps uh, this is going to be for the exterior light switch for the hybrid uh, also is going to be for the upper control panel control unit uh, lastly for the uh, engine with echo start stop is going for the transmission uh, oil auxiliary pump uh, relay next uh, is going to be fuse number 19 is going to be for the electronic ignition lock control unit is also going to be for the electric uh, steering lock control uh, unit and then next uh, we come to this is number 20 is going to be for the apps it's for the uh, electronic stability program control unit and then uh, we go over it's going to be a 7.5 amps it's going to be a for the front passenger seat occupied recognition or in short is going to be for the weight uh, sensing system so next is going uh, to be a fuse number 22 it's going to be 15 amps first is going to be for the radiator fan motor also it's going to be for the radiator shutter actually and then it's also is going to be uh, for the electrical connector for the interior harness and engine uh, wiring harness next it's going to be fuse number 23 it's going to be 20 amps uh, this is for the rear sum control unit with fuse and relay module also this is going to be for the ecm or engine uh, control uh, module next is going to be a fuse number 24 this is 15 amps uh, this is going to be for the electrical connector for interior harness and engine wiring harness and also this is going to be for the ecm next we go to a uh, fuse number 25 this is going to be 15 amps so this is going to be uh, for the uh, transmission cooling coolant circulation pump next one is going to be uh, for the power electronics coolant circulation pump relay and then we go to fuse number 26 uh, but uh, there is a relay here preventing us so we just take this one out and then we try to expose to us of uh, this fuse number 26 is 20 amps so this uh fuse is going to be for the radio next uh, we're going to fuse number 27 is 7.5 amps going to be for engine control module control unit and then for the engine uh, for the diesel cars is going to be for the electronic ignition lock control uh, unit and then next we come to the front we start with this fuse number 28 is going to be for the instrument uh, cluster 
And then next we move to the 10 amps, uh, which is going to be fuse number 29. This is for the right front uh, lamp unit. And then we move, we move next fuse number 30 is going to be a 10 amps. So it's going to be for the for the left headlight unit. Next uh, we go to fuse number 31, 15 amps is going to be for the horn. And then next uh, we got big fuse, uh, which is going to be fuse number 32. 40 amps is going to be for the electric uh, air pump. So this big fuse is similar to the other ones. So from there we go to the next one, which is going to be 10 amps. This is fuse number 33. So this is going to be for the electronic transmission control unit. And then next uh, we go to uh, fuse number 34. It's going to be uh, 7.5 amps. It's going to be for the fuel system control uh, unit. And then next is going to be fuse number 35. 5 amps is going to be for the hybrid control unit power supply relay. And then we have a relay here. And then it's going to prevent us from accessing the last uh, fuse, which is going on that side. So let's take this out of the way. So the last one is going to be fuse number 36, it's going to be 7.5 amps, so it's going to be for the night view assist control unit, or also it's going to be for the Distronic electric controller unit. So uh, once that is done, I'll put back the relays uh, that we took out. So once that is done, so literally uh, that's how it is uh, to understand this uh, front uh, engine uh, relay and uh, fuse diagram. So uh, in short, that's uh, the orientation is going to be from here. So what literally happens next, you just put everything back and then uh, you should be uh, good to go. All right, if anybody has a question, you can just leave in the comment section concerning uh, the relays and whatever stuff you want to learn about this uh, W212 and then everything should be good to go. Alright, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's been helpful. If you've been, please leave a like and subscribe. And then I'll see you in the next video. Alright, bye-bye.